The Hidden Impact of Vitamin B1 Deficiency Hey there! Did you know that a simple deficiency in vitamin B1 could lead to some pretty bizarre and unexpected symptoms? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of B1, also known as thiamine, and how it impacts your nerves, brain, and overall health. Trust me, you don't want to miss this! First things first, B1 is absolutely essential for your nervous system. It powers up a specific type of cell called the oligodendrocyte. What does this cell do? It creates myelin, the protective coating around your nerves. Think of myelin as the insulation on electrical wires. Without enough B1, that insulation starts to break down. And when that happens, all sorts of strange and frustrating symptoms can occur. So how does a B1 deficiency happen? Well, one major culprit is your diet. Foods like refined sugars and carbohydrates, think bread, pasta, crackers, biscuits, and waffles, can deplete your B1 levels. That's why manufacturers enrich these foods with synthetic vitamins, but those don't always cut it. It's not just food, though. Tea and coffee are sneaky offenders, too. The tannins and caffeine in these beverages can zap your B1 stores. Alcohol, sulfites in wine, raw fish, chlorine in tap water, and certain medications, like antacids, antibiotics, and even birth control, can also drain your B1. But it gets even more surprising. Some conditions like endometriosis, early puberty treatments, and even vaccines for HPV have been linked to symptoms that mimic a B1 deficiency. Now, let's talk symptoms. A big one? Problems in the cerebellum, the part of your brain that controls motor function, mood, and attention. Without enough B1, this area can degenerate, leading to issues like Tourette syndrome, those random vocalizations and movements, ataxia, trouble walking or balancing, or even obsessive compulsive disorder. And it doesn't stop there. ADHD, chronic fatigue, dizziness when you stand up, a condition called POTS, and even symptoms that resemble multiple sclerosis, MS, can be tied to B1 deficiency. Then there's peripheral neuropathy, those burning, painful, or numb sensations in your feet and hands, often seen in diabetics but also linked to low B1 levels. Even sciatica-like pain might actually be a sign of B1 deficiency. Wild, right? So what's the solution? First, pinpoint what's causing your deficiency. Is it your diet, certain drinks, medications, or something else? Then start adding B1 back into your routine. Go for a natural source like unfortified nutritional yeast. If your symptoms are more severe or related to myelin issues, consider a fat-soluble form of B, one called benfodiamine. And now, I want to hear from you. Have you experienced any of these symptoms or discovered a way to boost your B1 levels? Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear your story. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.